Hey guys, Once Human just released this trailer on ING. It's already gotten over a million views and it's got a bunch of hidden things kind of in, imbued all throughout the trailer. I actually got the opportunity to play what was called the EOE project uh, in just in its last beta and I was able to get pretty advanced in the game. So I'm gonna go through this trailer and kind of explain some of the hidden aspects that if you were just watching it, you might not really understand what is going on. So we're just gonna kind of go in order uh, in the beginning, this is your house. You can, it's like rust style game. You can build it anywhere and you can build it a house that looks like this. Like it, it has everything that you get in like life after and all that stuff, being able to have um, just an incredible diversity of the type of houses you can build. So this is someone coming up probably on their own house or someone, it could be someone else's house. Cause again, it's like rust. You can build a house anywhere in the world. And, um, and then this little, flicker right there is actually nothing to do really i mean it might have a little bit to do with the storyline but mostly that just has to do with it's a survival game and you have to manage your sanity level when you eat food it, you're going to gain a, a sanity points or insanity points and there's other foods that can reduce um uh, your or increase your sanity um there's gel tablets you can take that increase your sanity and if you're if your sanity level gets too low or if you're you basically go insane um then you start seeing the world kind of like that and um it can throw it throw it off now this um i don't think this is actually in the game maybe it's i mean i played through i got pretty advanced i'm not sure why there's baby dolls hanging on doors uh this right here this material you see right here is called the misty impasse and basically so it's a rust type world right you're in the island and when you get into the misty impasse um it it's kind of a, a dangerous zone um there's a ton of really powerful mobs powerful for that section of the world so if you're in a easy section of the world it's not that bad um but it'll, it, they can destroy your house um it can be kind of a chaotic place and you have to kill enough of them before it, it goes away. And so if you go through this, this is normal. And when you go through this, the sky kind of turns red and you fight all of these mobs. Um, it's also kind of a PVP area. So if other players come and it's where your house is, you need to fight them and uh, the other players. So um, it's, it's honestly, this scene is just to look kind of like a storyline, but it's, it's really, it's introducing aspects of the game, but it's it's not really uh, much in the in the game. Okay, so this scene is just kind of what the game looks like. You don't quite see it from this view, but this is kind of how you know some of the houses look when they're when they're broken down. You can hunt deer, so this is just kind of showing you a little bit about the game. This is kind of typical of the game. Okay, this section right here, uh, again, they make it look like it's part of the storyline. And actually, this is more part of the storyline than some of the other stuff we saw. But basically, as you play the game and as you're playing the storyline of the game, which is a really good way to level up. It, by the way, guys, if you want to just see the game, if you're like, well, screw this. I just want to see how the game is played. and I don't want a trailer. I have like 14 videos on EOE. I got very advanced in the game. I have footage to, to even show more videos if, if this game really takes off. It, the game used to be called Project EOE. It's now called Once Human. Um, but if you check out this playlist, it'll show you a lot about the game. They didn't really change much about the game. They just changed the name of it. But this orb right here, you'll see often when you get a certain point in the storyline, an orb will appear. And when you go in this orb, sometimes it's a single, I think the first one's a single player, but then after that, you can go up to four players. You go into a boss fight. And um, we're gonna see some boss fights in this trailer. I'll point them out to you. But it's, uh, those boss fights are a lot of fun and they give you a lot of like, a lot of the materials. Instead of like life after where you have to go get research shards and kind of uh, upgrade your stuff there or in rust where you once you get it you just get it in this way you kind of farm bosses and you can farm it with friends and they will give you a lot of legendary shards and you can kind of uh, build build up and upgrade your weapons considerably this section is you know it's it's kind of part of the game it's not not part of the game in the sense that uh, you'll see buildings like this and those things 
are a lot of the type of creatures you'll see in like a Misty Impasse, and you'll see them throughout other parts of the game. It's just one of the creatures in this world. It's part of the concept of the game of this kind of corrupting world, and they're one of the, the key enemies of that corrupting world, but you'll see them most likely in like a Misty Impasse. That's probably the place you'll see. You'll see a ton of them there, and they shoot out like a electric ball at you, and, and you gotta kind of dodge it while shooting them, and um, they're, but they're a good enemy. This is the Trent boss. And what's really interesting about this is this is the actually the old location, not even this last beta, but the beta before that, they had the Trent boss here. But I think later in the trailer, they actually show you the Trent boss in his natural habitat, the one they, they just moved him into that is a little bit, it's a good, it's a good fit for him. It's a pretty fun battle. Um, I did show, I have a video in that playlist. If you want to see me fight this boss, it's a very interesting boss to fight. I ended up getting really good because this is the the main boss that I ended up farming for uh, legendary shards when I was trying to get really advanced in the game during that beta. So this is just a filler scene where, you know, they're just kind of filling the music. This part right here is actually the just a cut scene from the very beginning, the tutorial of the game. And this backpack that you see, and you'll see it on several times in the trailer, it's called uh, the Cradle. Um, and you need the Cradle, it kind of infuses into your blood to keep from becoming corrupted and turning into a monster, kind of like those um, monsters I was pointing out earlier. You Theoretically, you never, you never actually see it in the game, but theoretically, if you didn't have this backpack on, you would turn into one of those monsters. But it actually never really plays in the game. It's just part of the storyline, and, and that's why all humans that you see in the game, all real players, are going to have this backpack on. Uh, this part is another one of those where it's not really in the game. Uh, I got pretty advanced. It, it's Again, they are still developing the game, so that is technically true that there could be something that I that I missed, but I got pretty advanced in the game, and I think this is just kind of like a, a storyline filler, um, kind of um, kind of like the babies hanging on the on the door frames. It kind of looks a little creepy, kind of giving you this vibe, but it's not really much part of the game. Um, this part is though. This is the right after you put the backpack on. These things kind of infuse into your cells to kind of make it to where you become one with the backpack and you can't turn into a monster anymore. So this scene, okay, there's a lot of things in this scene. So first of all, these are all players, at least in the game. Probably, you know, this is just a trailer, but uh, if they have a backpack with this, if they have a cradle on, then they are a real player. However, the vultures are not real players. They're kind of the NPC character humans of the game and so you got to fight them a lot they they respawn and they have chests throughout it like this right here kind of looks like it could be a, a loot chest i'm not i'm not sure but the bigger thing is just that there are loot chests in these locations this is probably one of the locations of the game it looks really familiar and and so these these npcs will come out they're called the vultures it's like a gang and you take them out you loot the chest and you leave and you can go use those part you get a lot of spare parts a lot of stuff for building up your house or upgrading a new motorcycle which the motorcycle is honestly one of the things that is really amazing about eoe and i'm excited to talk about that a little bit more when we get to that part of the trailer so this is just all animation stuff that you won't see in the game this is the map and uh it's not, the map looks a little bit different in the actual game which again go check out my videos if you want to see what it actually looks like but this, there is still a lot of um, good things about this. Um, one, these bigger locations are usually places that will either have a teleport um, area that you can go to. You can activate that teleport and then you can start teleporting. You do have to use a certain type of currency. You can't just teleport infinitely throughout the world of once human. But it is nice, unlike you know a Rust type game where you're kind of you're kind of stuck in an area and you got to travel really far if you want to go to another part of the island. That's not the case. And a lot of these rivers are usually a level defining line. Like actually this part of the game, I'm pretty sure I remember, is level um, 10 through 16. And then up here it gets, you know, way harder, uh, like 20 through 25. 
And then this actually gets easier and then it gets harder the further left you go. So this is actually one of the easier parts of the map. Let's see if they zoom out. Yeah, they're just kind of zooming out. Um, this area, I actually show this again in, in one of the videos, one of the later videos when I get a little bit more advanced. Uh, there's some pretty cool event areas that get pretty complex. You want to go as a team, which, you know, hardly anyone was playing the beta, so we didn't have a big team. But uh, me and King of Trying It uh, went at it and, and really enjoyed playing at the high levels, um, though it really messed with your sanity levels. You need to bring some of these locations they manipulate the survival stuff. So obviously there's hunger and kind of those things you're normally in health that you're normally used to, but the sanity levels, um, you really want to make sure you have like orange juice. So oranges are good, but then you can turn that into orange juice and you can keep upgrading that into bigger and better stuff. And that gives you a lot of sanity over time. So you can go into a place like this and not have to constantly be managing your sanity levels because sanity if your sanity levels go down you also start losing health you have less health to work with okay so they zoom in here and this and, but it's actually the trent boss that i just showed you earlier and this is the new location for the trent boss this area is kind of like almost like a desolate um concrete area that's where they have this boss in here um, he's throwing down a skill. Um, this is, I think, the shield skill. It doesn't quite look like it. it almost looks like the healing skill, which actually would be pretty stupid uh, for this boss. You want to put up the shield skill um, because he does this. The boss does this like slam, and if you have the shield skill up, he will. Your shield will protect it, and, and you can just keep shooting him, uh, no issue. Um, this right here, he's shooting this naked lady at the at the top of the tree. That's real. Um, you, if you shoot uh, him, you'll do a certain amount of damage. You shoot his head, you do like twice the damage. You shoot her, you do three times the damage. You shoot her head, you do four times the damage. So really, the way to kill this guy is to kill this chick, and um, it's pretty crazy. Again, I have uh, footage, a lot of footage of killing this this boss and uh, killing mainly this chick, shooting her in the head. Um, and uh, now it goes through, the trailer just starts going through a bunch of different bosses. Some of these bosses are not actually, they're like very small bosses. They're not the type of boss that you go through that portal to get. But um, we'll go through this one. This spider is actually the boss after the Trent. Again, it's actually kind of in a um, area that it, they changed it. In the last beta, they changed, this is the original beta um, look. In the in the last beta, they changed the spider. And the spider's pretty hard, but again, if you're advanced enough, it's all about leveling up. It, it, it wasn't that hard. You just, you just have to make sure that you avoid his giant poison cloud he kind of puts out. Uh, this boss, I actually haven't fought yet. And I think it might have been, I think there was one boss I had left to fight. Or maybe it's a new boss, I'm not sure. Uh, but it looks pretty cool. Okay, so now they're moving in the map uh, to find a different location. And then they're kind of painting this picture of, and this is accurate. You go to a different part of the map and you're not fighting bosses anymore. You're not doing PvP. You're not fighting vultures. You're, you're in a survival game, which, you know, I personally really love survival games. And so here, you're, he, you know, he's killing a bear. Uh, you get the meat from it. Um, oh, now he goes back to fighting a boss. So they're kind of just jumping around. These are vultures, the stuff I was telling you about earlier. They're NPC uh, characters. There's that spider showing. Okay, I want to talk about this. So they, again, they're showing you going to a different part of the map. But there's a different thing to do. And that is one of the things I love about Once Human is you go to a different part of the map and you feel like you're not in a new part of the game because you're still using your same character, same guns, all that stuff, but it does have a, a slightly different feel. You might sometimes feel like you're in a survival game. Sometimes you feel like you're in an event. And I really love that about the game. There's also very clear, like in, kind of like an MMO, there's very clear lines of what level am I in? And you know, should I be here <laughs> because I'm underleveled or 
Maybe I'm over leveled. I need to go somewhere else. So, but one of the things I really wanted to talk to you guys about is this, these motorcycles, because once human did a fantastic job with these motorcycles, uh, basically you, once you upgrade your motorcycle, you can 3d print it, uh, just anywhere and then just start driving it. And that is a really cool aspect of the game. Basically you have your vehicle on you, no matter what driving in in once human is incredibly frustrating i think they are going to fix that that i saw a perk in which you can unlock when you level up to where you just kind of blow through trees and that's good i'm glad they added that they need to make it to where even if you don't have that perk they don't penalize you as much because honestly it was um it was really frustrating you'll see if you watch those videos on on the game you'll see how incredibly frustrating it was, how frustrated I got because you'd hit the smallest twig tree that you didn't see at all and it would just stop you completely and, and hurt your bike. And you're like, or you hit the side of a rock and it's like you're completely stopped. So they definitely need to work on that a little bit, but it they did have a really cool motorcycle system. All right, so this is showing the house building uh, this is pretty accurate. Again, you can do a lot of different unique designs to house. In fact, this is kind of not, it's not showing three different styles. It's kind of showing three of the same style. Um, so it's accurate the way they were building it, but they could have gone, they could have shown, an, they have a wide diver diversity of different types of paneling you can use and all that stuff. You can make your house look quite a bit different. Uh, this is driving around at night. Again, driving can be frustrating. All right, this is another, again, they're not showing the different styles of housing. They have little different lights and the last picture had a little bit different light, but you, the houses can actually become quite a bit more diverse and you can build them, you know, like this one's the building style of having a smaller first floor. That is also something you can do. Uh, you got the motorcycle, a little more advanced vehicle. Uh, this scene's kind of just for show. You're not really gonna ever have your motorcycle, you know, sitting up against your house. Uh, however, this scene is is one of the uh, event spots that it's kind of a reoccurring event. A lot of once human has these uh, these areas that you go to. And it's kind of like an event waiting for you to show up. And if other people show up at the same time, um, if no one's showed up, then it kind of just resets and then you can all go in and maybe someone else is already starting the event. Um, some of the events and mostly the storyline events, you show up to this place and it becomes a unique area um, that only you show up to. And your friend can be like, hey, where are you? I came to this place and but and you don't see them that's usually because you're in a storyline or there is a chance that y'all are in um, different worlds which I also show in that video in those videos up there how to switch worlds um, to be able to make sure you match up with your friend oh and uh, last note on uh, this right here these events are a really good place to get a lot of good stuff, a lot of items. They have loot boxes all throughout them. So if you're trying to upgrade your motorcycle or get to that next level or get that next gear, you know, you want your tier three gear, the, you know, these events are a really good way to do that. Um, also, these events will sometimes just drop the next level tier item for you. And so they're really good. They're kind of fun. I enjoy doing it. Okay, so this house is something you could build, uh, but it also looks kind of like something I saw in the game. I don't remember this place particularly. You know, sometimes in these trailers, they show something like it's like, oh, the center point. And then you see it in the game and you're like, that actually has, like they don't ever use it. It's just a random building. And I think that's what this is. I don't seem to remember this being anything of importance in the game, but I do remember it. Okay, and then this last part, they just, you know, show this chick in the Once Human world, which this is the world of Once Human, but this isn't part of the storyline. Uh, that, for all I know, is just your character. But she doesn't have a backpack on, so honestly, this is, uh, unless 
Unless it's a really advanced part of the game that they hadn't even really released yet, that we didn't even have enough time to get to in the beta, I don't think that's actually in the game. They just, sometimes they'll manufacture something using a character or the graphics of the game. They'll kind of put it in the trailer as a filler. It does kind of give off that feeling of, you know, there's a storyline. And there actually is a, a pretty good storyline in Once Human. And honestly, this is one of the games I'm most excited about uh, coming up here soon. It's a survival game. It's got a new feel to it. It's got a lot of open world. You can kind of build wherever you want. Uh, I'm a little bit worried with it being Netties. Not sure exactly how they're going to monetize it, but the betas were a lot of fun to play, and I'm excited about this thing coming out. So again, last plug, I think you should check out, you know, if you're interested in this game, go check out my gameplay videos on it. I pretty much cover everything about the game one episode at a time. So once it comes out, I will definitely be covering this game. So if you're interested in this game and you like the way that I explain things, make sure to subscribe. And when it comes out, I think the next beta is going to be sometime in September. Uh, I'll make sure to let you guys know. All right, guys. See you next time.